this multiplayer action title, it won't just tickle your funny bone, it'll chew the whole damn thing off. But I have one more thing to announce, coming this year, Paggle 2! <laughs> Boy, if you don't get- What's good everybody, it's the real deal dude and I would like to welcome you back to my channel. Now if you take a look at the calendar, you will know that the most anticipated time for gamers is right around the corner, and that's E3. The gaming convention that used to be shown on G4 TV back in the day and is now mainly streamed on the internet from Los Angeles, it showcases new games coming out this year and the next for this generation. It spans over about 4 days with one of them consisting of multiple conferences from Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft, Sony, Bethesda, and Nintendo. Surprises are always in store, fails are bound to happen, and excitement is to be had. So for someone like me, who's been watching E3 for about a decade, I would like to give some predictions on what I think will be revealed and shown at this year's E3 2017 convention. Number 10, Super Mario Odyssey. With this being the next big game for the recently released Nintendo Switch, you can't go wrong for thinking that Nintendo would want to show some gameplay to the masses, right? Number 9, Death Stranding at Sony Conference. Death Stranding was a game revealed at last year's E3 featuring Norman Reedus aka Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead and is being developed by the almighty Metal Gear Solid creator Hideo Kojima. Another trailer was shown at the Game Awards on Spike last December featuring actor and director of Pacific Rim, Guillermo del Toro. There isn't much known about the game so hopefully this pops up once again with some gameplay at this year's Sony Con. Boy! She taught you to hunt, yes? Yes, sir. Then show me what you know. I am hungry. Number 8. God of War 4 at Feed Sony Comp. Now, if you didn't see my E3 video last year, I predicted that a new God of War was going to be revealed. The years are long, but it's always good to see a familiar face. My vengeance ends now. And lo and behold, while I'm at my hotel in Myrtle Beach and at the end of the day, Kratos and his son go into combat for a surprisingly long gameplay demo in the beginning of the combat. Nothing literally has been shown since, so we can hope that Santa Monica comes back this year with a new trailer and a release date. Number 7. The Return of Assassin's Creed at Ubisoft Conference. The main games in the Assassin's Creed line took a year off to what it seems like take more time on the product. In the meantime, we got a movie with Michael Fassbender and like a lot of other video game movies, it was panned by critics. Recently, the new Assassin's Creed was linked like every other entry in the series <laughs> and is apparently to be set in Egypt and maybe called Assassin's Creed Empire or Assassin's Creed Origins. We'll never know until Ubisoft shows us, which they eventually will. Number 6. The last game at Ubisoft's E3 conference is a new Splinter Cell. You know how at the end of every Ubisoft uh, conference they reveal a surprise sequel or a new IP? In 2012 it was Watch Dogs, in 2013 it was The Division, 2014 The Crew, 2015 Ghost Recon Wildlands, and last year the incredibly forgotten speech. So what can I possibly think is going to be the big reveal this time? Easy, a new Splinter Cell game for the 8th generation. We haven't seen Sam Fisher in 4 years so I'm sure we'll see a new installment in the series reveal shown as it's one of Ubisoft's most popular and longest franchises. Just imagine a demo where it's raining down on Sam's black outfit with beautiful graphics while he's sneaking inside a building. All types of excitement, right? Number 5. The Insomniac Spider-Man game at Sony's conference. If you know me, then you might know that Spider-Man is my favorite superhero of all time, and during these 18 years of my life, it has not ever changed. So of course I was excited when the PS4 exclusive Spider-Man game looking like this was revealed at last year's Sony Comics. So far since then, only a little bit of extra footage was shown during the PS4 Pro showcase, and after that, an information leak on Reddit which details that this is a more experienced Spider-Man who is married to Mary Jane and has a daughter while fighting the Green Goblin to protect his family. Sounds like a more darker story which I'm down for it 
also apparently may be like Arkham Asylum, like the Arkham Asylum with Spider-Man games. And I hope to see some of the gameplay this year and a release date in 2017. Number four, Star Wars Battlefront 2 prequel demo. Two years ago, everybody who played the original Battlefronts became excited when DICE showed their take on the game at EA's conference. I was too. It came out to mixed reviews, unfortunately, and when its sequel was revealed last month, the fanboy came back outside of me when I seen that the prequel era was coming and that Space Battles were coming out at launch. What I think DICE will do when they reveal the gameplay, however, is that this time they show the prequel era, and trust me, Star Wars fans there and around the world will go wild. Hopefully that happens. Number 3. Crackdown 3 gameplay at Microsoft's conference. Crackdown 3 has been in the works for about 3 years and the destruction gameplay shown a couple of years ago looked amazing to me. That's why I hope it shows up at this year's Microsoft conference because Scalebound is cancelled, Years of War 4 just came out, 343 said that don't expect the Halo 6 this year because uh, they already got Halo Wars 2 and you're not going to see 6 until next year. And Nobody cares about Forza 16. Let's get that out the way. They have no other real exclusives coming out right now, and this is the one that should astound them. No one cares about CFDs either. Do not try to argue me in that comment section. Number 2 The Last of Us 2 gameplay at the end of the Sony conference. Back in 2012, when Sony showed off The Last of Us gameplay, everybody went wild, and everybody knew that this was a day one purchase. The Last of Us 2 was revealed at PSX last December, and it hasn't been seen since. Will we get gameplay this year like last time? Hope the, well, the original was revealed in 2011, shown in 2012, and released in 2013, so hopefully. Number 1, the Xbox Scorpio reveal. I mean look, you knew this one was coming. It's probably the most anticipated thing to be shown at E3 as Microsoft is boasting the new console's power, claiming it's 4K 60fps possibility. I may not have an Xbox, but I'm very interested to see what the design is like, what the price is, and when it's coming out. Until then, we can only speculate. Those are my predictions for E3 this year, and I hope everything I said comes to fruition. Tell me your predictions for E3 down below in the comment section, and if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the notification button so YouTube can snitch on me whenever I upload. Until next time, though, peace out.